Dennis Weaver back on the Friday Night Thunder postgame show brought to you by Ascend Federal Credit Union. Ascend with locations all over southern middle Tennessee and here to serve you. We just got a report on the uh, condition of Shelbyville running back Marquise Morton. And uh, while, you, while you're doing that, let's go ahead and spool up. I think it's two. Yeah, line two. Um, Marquise Morton, a deep neck contusion is the uh, a report right now from the hospital. They're still doing the CT scans and checking. But uh, as it turns out, I'm, I'm told that there is a uh, – uh, there is no – medical opinion has been given so there's it's being reported that he's had a concussion that's not the case yet he may still have a concussion but that has not been determined as yet so uh, we want to get the right news out there and of course if you're looking for right news you got to turn to friday night thunder and news Two, and and uh, news Two sports guru himself joe dubin joins us on the line dupes how you doing tonight coach i don't know if i'm talking to you or peyton manning you're you're the pitch man of Rutherford County, and I like it. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, you got a uh, – what game did you – did you go see the Oakland-Smyrna game tonight? I saw the Oakland-Smyrna game and the laverne Seagull game today. I know you had the Seagull coach on earlier. And, you know, I love when coaches come on the show with you because I love high school coaches because they're always so honest and telling the truth. And he was right. Coach Wyatt was right because Seagull just really didn't play their A game. I don't, they, I don't even know if that was a D game tonight. But they did get a win, and they won the game, and, uh, and and that's all that matters at the end of the day. But I think the shocker was the way that Smyrna just really ran over Oakland. I mean, winning 52-22, to 22, that was a huge win. And you look about Smyrna, you know, they're back against Wall 3-4, and four, and they needed to win these three games. Tonight they play Raven, Ravenwood next week, then they play Siegel in two weeks. That's always a big game as well. Yeah. But the worst part about tonight is, well, not worst part, but because Smyrna won the game, that means Riverdale wins the district. So the Battle of the Borough in two weeks from Riverdale and Oakland, it's not going to have that same importance that it's had the last several years because Riverdale's already wrapped it up. But it's still going to be a pretty big game. But, you know, Riverdale gets it and they're moving on. So it's going to be an exciting time. And the playoffs are just, what, two or three weeks away from tonight. Yeah, they are. And and, and let me just just speak from a from a position of, uh, of knowledge. Uh, Riverdale and Oakland could get together playing marbles and they draw a big crowd. It, it's, oh, it's that's st- going to be a huge crowd. And they're playing it at Riverdale again for the second year. So, yeah. you know, that's good. But then Riverdale, you know, they'll, they'll all get ready and ready to go and hit the playoffs. And, you know, all the teams scattered. I'm still, I'm still not a big fan of the 6A. I wish, you know, we would go back to the 5A or even the 4A. I just, yeah. I, I'm not a big fan of the way it's done. Uh, and so, but, you know, they're not going to listen to me anyway. But it is what it is. And it's going to be an exciting time in November. It all ends in De- December down in Cookville. But, I still say the best team I've seen around uh, has been Riverdale. They're complete on both sides of the ball. And Ron Aylott's got a squad that, that could go, uh, they probably should go all the way. Did you go, uh, were you down there last night at at, uh, at Blackman for the game? Nope. No, I watched it on TV and uh, I actually went to the Franklin Independence game. And I know you're up against the, the top of the hour. I will tell you this, the punter for Independence, and I, I don't remember his name, this guy had like five punts that he was able to down inside the five-yard line. He's going to Kentucky. A scholarship has a punter. I've never seen a punter win a game. Independence won that game, I say, five to three. Their only loss was to Blackman. And, of course, Blackman lost last night to Riverdale. See how I brought it full circle? Yeah, you did. You, I saw what you did there. <laughs> you, that's why. That's why you're the great one. Joe Dubin has joined us, man. We appreciate you. We got to get. Uh, we got to get your uh, Buffalo Wild Wings buddy on the phone. Okay. You got to take care, buddy. All right, take care. That's Joe Dubin. Let's.